Hello and welcome to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indy Comics Jones. Today is September 24, 2021. This is episode 416. Vinyl is what we're looking at right now. This is issue number four in the series, coming out from Image and comes in at a whopping $3.99. And on the cover here, we see one of the mass murderer serial killers. His name is Guy. And he's one of the protégés of, of uh, Walter. And we'll get into Walter a little bit more. Just a bit uh, outside the window here, we see what I believe are the husks. They are on the underground of the sunflower farm. And they're trying to save Walter and Dennis. Dennis is an FBI agent that has been tracking Walter for years, but has never been able to catch him. And one of the things, they've had this back and forth uh, as far as communications go, with Dennis bringing him records and Walter loving music. And it turns out Walter has got Alzheimer's disease, and these listening to certain songs bring back memories and help him cope with life and help him go on with life and do things. So we've got a lot going on in this book, and let's get into it. I, I kind of think this book was... The uh, author's dream hit a dream, and then he just elaborated on this dream. It is just so weird and wacky, just all about serial killers and and having to make alliances with them in order to get through this. Okay, let's take a quick look to see who worked on this. We've got uh, Doug w Wagner or Wagner, if you prefer. The artist is Daniel Hilliard. The colorist is Dave Stewart. Letterer is Ed Dukeshire. The, excuse me, that was a letter, and the editor is Kevin Gardner. The designer is Sasha E. Head. And this is a 12-gauge production, as you see up here. So it starts off with one of the enemy serial killers. It looks like a big baby. Um, it just looks like it, it broke loose from its bindings and it's its way out. I'm, it, it was, there was a one-way mirror in this particular room. And it's probably out searching for to take down some of the uh, the alliances that have been made up. If you recall, they finally found Dennis in a room. Walter put on his teddy bear mask and murdered Edith, who is one of the favorites of, oh boy, I can't think of Miranda, uh, of the Sunflower Farm cult. So they're discussing back and forth. The This is the other... FBI agent we've got here. She was actually kidnapped to help Walter find Dennis. And uh, her name's Agent Ruiz. And we've got this kind of back and forth going on where they're trying to convince Dennis that they've got to act together with these other serial killers or else they're not going to get there out there out alive. So... What we've got here is we've got Walter, who's kind of losing it because his music, his iPod, got busted, so he can't access the songs. So he is just totally lost. He's forgetting who people are and whatnot. And um, Rennie is one of his protégés. She's kind of like a Buffalo Bill. She likes to skin her victims and make their suits into clothing while bathing in their blood to get rejuveni re rejuvenated. So she's got her own little backstory. Kind of a favorite, actually. <laughs> In this story, it's just kind of weird the way it is turning out. So here we have Miranda. She finds out that her Edith has been killed, and she pokes out the eyes of one of her disciples uh, wearing the mask. Just someone just taking out her anger on that person. Meanwhile, she gives orders to kill them all. Well, she says, bring me the axe. She wants to get mother's axe. Her mother is this really weird-looking monster, and she's going to release her to track down the uh, these killers. Now we have the twins, who are also part of Walter's gang. But unfortunately, um, they come up upon some bad news. As you can see here, it looks like one of the creeps that are down in the underground. These guys are also serial killers. Um, attacks him. His brother looks on in horror as he's torn apart. And it's too much for him to bear at this point. Uh, 
his brother can't go on without his own brother. So he ends up like slitting his own throat in front of his friends here. I mean, it's just like, just incredibly nightmarish, this whole thing. And to think that you have to team up with serial killers to get through this. I'm just loving this book. I mean, it's just really crazy imaginative. And we can see the guy right here, the, that big, I think he's the big baby guy that we saw at the beginning that escaped. Maybe not. Now it looks like just another crazy in there. Um, as he wanders off with the past the two dead twins here. They've got to keep moving on here. Meanwhile, Miranda presents the axe to her mother who's in this locked up in this chamber and tells her that they're all under attack. She needs to go help. She's been released now. And these guys are trying to find a phonograph so they can play music for poor Walter, who's just totally out of it. He doesn't know what's going on. As you can see, it's driving Louise crazy. Dennis is coming along now. At first, he was like, what? What are you guys doing? Are you nuts? But um, he's, he's actually befriended, in a way, Walter at this point. And it just, just, just moves the story along so nicely. And so they are at the stage, they, there's a Victoria, uh, Victoria Trolla, I think it's called, the phonograph there. They need that to play the music, and as Guy goes to get it, suddenly the Miranda's henchmen all kind of attack at once. Talking about love, courage, pain, ascension. It's this big cult, and Guy does the best he can. He's really strong, but he's just getting stabbed and everything. He tells, he holds him off as long as he can, tells everybody to run, make a break for it. And at some point he knew all, all is lost, so he picks up this, this um, brazier, uh, not brazier, brazier, I think they're called, that's full of uh, hot oil. It's a theater, it uses like an ancient theater lamp, and he pours it on himself and then attacks all the cultists that way as he's this flaming... Um, suicide mission there. So they've got, I believe they've they've got the Victrola, but they don't have any records to play. I think that's where the point is right here. Um, Dennis is looking at Walter's broken iPod. He's like, there's no way I can fix this, but we got to find a way out of here. So one way, uh, Dennis starts singing a nursery rhyme to to Walter and Walter recognizes it and he starts snapping and all of a sudden he turns kind of this gets this chagrin on this look and we find out and we see Dennis getting attacked here and it turns out mother has found them and Dennis is crying for Walter to help put on the mask Walter the mask meanwhile this is how we end this just crazy stuff. I, I'm just loving it. It's just so imaginative, so so groundbreaking in the storytelling here. I'm just, you have no way to tell what's going to happen next. And, you know, you just imagine yourself aligning, your, aligning yourselves with other serial killers to get through a group of other mass murderers. It's kind of a thought-provoking dilemma, I would say. Okay, so what we get here is kind of these sketches or artwork. It's got, got to be continued. I believe this might be the cover, part of the cover of the next issue here. There you go, sneak peek. Issue number five. Then we get some inks from that. And here's the limited edition of vinyl. You can see it's got, uh, there's the, oh, there's, he's got hair. I guess it was the baby guy was the one that killed one of the twins. Um, so just great, exciting to read. It just really goes quickly. And what we have here is kind of like the negative of the cover. And we'll flip that over in just a moment so you can see. And there's the websites and everything. If you want to freeze it, pause, and order anything from them, 12 Gauge Productions. And here we got the same thing on the back so this is a recommend i'm really enjoying it it's just so offbeat it's so different um so imaginative 
So thanks for stopping by and listening to this review. As always, please like, please subscribe, please leave comments if you haven't. If you want to, I should say, please subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you next time at the Temple of Tomes. This is Indie Comics Jones bidding you adieu.